Part two, concepts of print. This is a really fun section team. In recent years, this concept has concepts of print. They've kind of pulled away from some of these questions on the reading exams. Uh, um, you're gonna see more of these on the early childhood exams, but I wanted to include this section and just cover the ideas that I think are the most important. Uh, when we talk about concepts of print, it is literally having an awareness or concept of print, whether it's on a page or in a book or on a poster or in the environment. It's having awareness that print, those letters on the page carry meaning. And, and, and we think about this, let, let's go to the definition of concepts of print here. There, there's a nice one over right over there. It says here, children with uh, print awareness. So I want you to think print awareness is uh, connected, is another way of describing concepts of print. Children with print awareness can begin to understand that written language is related to oral language. So they're seeing that when you speak, you can represent it in words. This is that awareness that those words represent what I speak. They see that spoken language, printed language carries a message and it is a source of both enjoyment and information. I think they just added that in. But the big idea is that print carries meaning. Now, look at the picture below. These are the areas here that we're going to talk about. We're going to do some questions involving print awareness, having awareness that print carries meaning. And these are tends to be questions involving preschool students or the um, or these are going to be younger students building that awareness that print carries meaning. Then we're going to go into questions involving concepts of print like book handling skills and directionality. Everyone, whether you're taking a reading test or an early childhood test, will probably have those. And then you're going to have questions involving uh, letters, letter knowledge, letter formation, letter recognition, um, um, the alphabetical principle. So we're going to sort of fit that into this section here as we go through it. When, when we think about a print-rich environment, because well, all the questions will be based in print-rich environments and print-rich activities, I want you to think about your classroom if you're, if you're an early childhood educator. Maybe you're teaching, you know, three to four year olds or four to five year olds or kindergarten, five to six or first and second grade. Your classroom is a print enriched environment. It is loaded with print like uh, the alphabet there, letter recognition, uppercase and lowercase letters, letter formation going on there, uh, the lines, the vertical lines and horizontal lines and, and curves. Uh, we have uh, print being used in a meaningful way with the students' names. Lots, we have pop words going on there. You see the pop words, I, is, uh, all sorts of print that's on that teacher's classroom wall. Uh, this one right here, maybe your classroom looks like this. The calendar, the uh, sentence frames, the poster, all this print, all this language. This type of environment, the print rich environment where you see posters and labels and the big book, all this stuff is promoting an awareness of print and that, that concept, that print, that print, uh, print awareness concept, that concept that print carries meaning. So let's look at these questions here and see if you can spot those details in the scenario. I'm hoping that you're like, okay, this scenario involves words and posters and the big book. It's gotta be a concepts of print question. So let's take a look. 